are studying travel and tourism or maybe looking at working in travel and tourism, it's important that you have a general overview about some of the major organisations that are in the industry and the types of organisations too. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you all about tourist boards. I'm going to tell you what they are, what they do and what the different levels of tourist boards are. If you're new here, my name's Dr Hayley Stainton and I teach you all things travel and tourism. If you're a travel and tourism student or you're interested in learning more, make sure you do subscribe to my channel. So let's start right at the beginning. What is a tourist board? A tourist board is an organisation that is founded with a view to promoting and creating the identity and to enhance the reputation of tourism in a particular location. They are official organisations that encourage tourists to visit a particular city, country or region. So, what type of organisation is a tourist board? A tourist board is a not-for-profit organisation that is usually government owned. This means that the focus is on providing a service to the general public, not about making a direct profit. However, indirectly, tourist boards do help to make money for the country because their aim is to promote the tourism industry, which in turn brings in revenue. Tourist boards are publicly funded, meaning that the money needed to operate comes from the money that is raised through taxation. This means that the organisations are paid for by everyday people who pay taxes on goods and services and income, etc. Tourist boards operate within the public sector. So what exactly does a tourist board do? A tourist board is generally a point of information for consumers or tourists. The primary aim is to promote tourism in a particular area. They may do this through a range of marketing initiatives, including targeted campaigns and advertisements. Tourist boards may run adverts on TV and place advertisements on bus shelters or on the tube, for example. Tourist boards have also been known to partner with influencers such as bloggers and Instagrammers who will promote the destination to their followers. Sometimes these can be pretty big campaigns. Tourist boards will also provide information about a specific area including transportation options, popular tourist attractions and types of accommodation that are available for the tourist. Tourist boards will also provide information about the history and the culture of a specific area. Behind the scenes, tourist boards also do lots of other work that we don't necessarily see firsthand. This helps to manage and facilitate the tourism provision in a particular area. Some of their duties might include conducting market research, analysis and appraisal of tourism businesses in the area, liaising with other governmental organisations, managing tourist representative and the provision of tourist information, cooperation with tourist boards in other destinations and developing the tourism provision in the area. Now one of the most important things that we need to know when we are learning about what a tourist board does is that there are tourist boards at different levels. National tourist boards oversee tourism at a national level. In other words, they are responsible for tourism throughout the country or the nation. National tourist boards typically set the agenda and support the sector to improve what it has to offer. National tourist boards provide funding and help to promote a positive image of the country. They will also work closely with other areas of government at a national level. Examples of national tourist boards include Visit Britain, Amazing Thailand and Incredible India. Regional tourist boards are organisations that are in charge of promoting and managing tourism at a regional level. Regional tourist boards will often work closely with national tourist boards. Their main role is to lead the regional tourism strategies in the area. Regional tourist boards will collaborate with local authorities tourism businesses and other organisations to undertake a range of marketing, product investment and business support activities within the travel and tourism industry. We then have local tourist boards. A local tourist board is one that focuses on a specific local area. Many local tourist boards will support local tourism groups and associations that help bring together the public and the private sector. Local tourist boards will address issues at grassroots and will demonstrate a higher level of understanding of tourism in a particular area than a national or a regional tourist board would. 
They will work closely with the local authority and local government. Local tourist boards will often have responsibility for tourist information centres too. These are centres that provide a range of information to tourists on attractions, accommodation, hospitality options, etc. within the local area. There will often be trained staff who will work at the tourist information centres who are able to advise and help the tourists. There may also be a small gift shop on site. So actually, tourist boards are a pretty important part of the tourism industry and if you would like to see where they fit in with the other elements or components of tourism, take a look at this video here or this one here.